ISRO studies space situation around Moon. As Chandrayaan-3 moves closer to the Moon and as lunar exploration generates renewed global interest, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has undertaken a detailed assessment of the current space situation around the Moon. Future missions are expected to combine scientific discovery with resource exploitation for commercial gain. The Chandrayaan-3 rocket launch was a major success for the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO. The rocket blasted off from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota, Andhra Pradesh, on July 14, 2023, and successfully placed the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft into orbit around the Moon. The spacecraft is now on its way to the lunar south pole where it is scheduled to land on August 23. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is a follow-up to the Chandrayaan-2 mission, which was India's first attempt to land a spacecraft on the Moon. The Chandrayaan-2 mission was a partial success, as the land of Vikram successfully touched down on the Moon, but it lost contact with the ground control shortly after landing. Chandrayaan-1, which was launched in 2008, and the Japanese spacecraft UNA, which was put into lunar orbit in 2009, are the two defunct spacecraft of Chandrayaan-3 scheduled to land on August 23. The successful launch of the Chandrayaan-3 rocket is a major achievement for ISRO and for India. It is a sign that India is a major player in the global space race, and it is a testament to the hard work and dedication of the ISRO scientists and engineers. Chandrayaan-3 is scheduled to land on August 23. The Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft consists of a lander, a rover, and a propulsion module. The lander is named Vikram, the rover is named Pragyan, and the propulsion module is named Chandrayaan. The lander will land on the lunar south pole on August 23. The rover will then deploy from the lander and explore the surrounding area. The Chandrayaan 3 mission is expected to last for about 14 days. The mission's primary goal is to search for water ice on the lunar south pole. The mission will also study the moon's geology and its potential for harboring life. In order to avoid potentially dangerous close contacts with the LRO and KPLO, Chandrayaan 2, which was launched in 2019, has already successfully conducted three of these maneuvers, according to ISRO. For Chandrayaan-3, the propulsion module is anticipated to spend many years in a circular LLO, low lunar orbit, that is approximately 150 kilometers high. I hope this gives you some more information about the Chandrayaan-3 rocket launch. It is a very exciting mission, and I am looking forward to following its progress. Thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe to my channel.